And so in 2 Corinthians 4, 4, we see that this God, this Satan, it says little g God, and we see it, it's on the screen. The God of this world, Satan, has blinded the eyes of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel and the glory of Christ who is the image of God. We're going to see this also take place today, this, this idea of, of being, uh, we need to see and believe and hope and trust, and that will lead our actions. But Satan in this cosmic war, in the spiritual war we, we're in, is, is trying to blind unbelievers to keep them in their unbelief. And in Ephesians 6, 11 and 12, we see that Paul tells us, because we're in the spiritual war, because we're, 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 we're in this war, you ought to put on the armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. There's schemes coming. And he says, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. The first thing you need to see there is, it's not about, you don't wrestle and we're not fighting in, in the physical realm. We're not engaging in this warfare against people. We're engaging in this warfare against rulers, the text says, against authorities, against cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. We are in war, but it's not against other humans. Other humans are captives. If they're not in Christ, they've been captive. We are called to set captives free, to deliver them from the bondage of sin, the bondage of Satan, the bondage of death, to offer them hope, forgiveness, life. That's what Christ has done for us. But in order to do that, we got to get engaged in the fight. The, the, the text says to wrestle. This is, this is hand-to-hand combat. This is exhausting. I even wrestle with my kids and it's not even real. And I get tired. My son is six. And like wrestling with him on the ground for like 30 minutes is exhausting. I'm sweating. He's sweating. It's just we're exhausted. We're exhausted. This is a real fight, however. But it's an exhausting one. If you feel exhausted, you feel burnout, you feel beat up, you feel discouraged, you feel, you feel like this is life is war. It is. That's why we need one another. That's why we need, when we talked about the Sabbath earlier, we, you know, a few weeks ago, we, we, we need rhythms of spiritual health and vitality in our life. We need the word of God to form us. We need encouragement. We need the brother and sisterhood of Christ because we're wrestling. But we're not, we're not at war against people. 